it's time for us to practice new politics that includes integrity, new governance framework, innovations in democracy, and progressive political thoughts. Because we are moving towards non-racial politics, and 39% of Malaysian would like to identify themselves as Malaysian rather than as Chinese, Indian, or Malay. It boasts of one simple method, so one simple message. Which governments can ensure there is a common agenda for our nation building? Is it Barisan National? Or is it that my, uh, my friends from uh, Pakatan? Now, how is Barisan National going to pay for all the promises they promised uh, last Saturday? They're going to pay for it by introducing GST, a supposedly fairer tax system. In Pase Gudang, newcomer Nomala Abdul Samad will be facing off against PKR Johor's Deputy President Ahmad Faidi Saidi. Nomala was in the human resources field before she quit to join politics. And while she says her candidacy was quite a shock, she feels in this industrial constituency her background will help her serve the people better. We already have a good uh, infrastructure but we are looking forward for certain upgrades for the uh, betterment of the people in Pase Gudang. And also, I'll be focusing more into the benefits of the factory workers, as well also the employer, because I'm both. I'm in the, uh, in the employer association, also for the employees, being a human resource manager. So I will try to do the best uh, to, to mediate or to help uh, form a better policies that will benefit all the rakyat. But doctor turned politician Ahmad Faidi feels his background gives him an edge over Nomala. I'm a little bit professional. <laughs> uh, I'm a medical doctor. Uh, then uh, maybe my family background. I don't know. Maybe I am uh, a new people here and it's no bad record. <laughs> Do you think Nomala has a bad record? Yes, uh, that what the people said. I don't know. Uh, the people said she is an act uh, human resource manager in a factory. Uh, this one, I don't know, but maybe you can ask other people. Fidi's comments regardless, BN's record in Pase Gudang at least seems to be a strong one in the eyes of the residents. The previous MP here was Higher Education Minister Khalid Norden, who won by whopping majorities against PKR candidates in the past two general elections. Khalid's given Nomala his blessing, even helping her campaign, as he himself runs for the Perma state seat. They are telling their way is true, but at present, Till now, the state, the place where we are staying, Barasi National is okay. Till now, we got no problem, anything. It's okay already. It's nothing to do with obesity. obesity. They also cannot change a lot. La. I think it should be the same. La. I don't think so. will be no much changes. La. Ini memanglah kat sini adalah BN kan untuk kita terajuin Malaysia lah. Pada saya macam tu lah. Sebab kemudahan banyak lah pada BN. Apa, peruntukkan peruntukan dengan kebajikan tak ada masalah Faidi however seems confident winds of change are sweeping at least the Chinese and Indian community in Pase Gudang and Singapore may be responsible we saw the Singapore TV and they got a lot of information from the channel, channel news SA and the Singapore TV so they are more open uh, they are working 350,000 of uh, Malaysian who work in Singapore uh, that's uh, a little bit in, an open-minded and they got information from the outside. So, so this is helping in the Indian community and the Chinese community to, to be in the outside. This is not a, they are normal, normal stronghold, normal being stronghold. No, because this area, uh, what we call FEDA, there is no FEDA in Pasukurang, there is no FEDA settlement. Then uh, the Malay also, medium income group. But Nomala is confident the constituency will remain with BN. He's not a local. He's coming from Semparanggam. Okay? Um, I think I have many advantage and they know me. Many people in Pasir Gudang knew me and uh, I'm a local. Faidi remains unfazed. He says he has on-the-ground information that confirms he's still very much in the race in the constituency, where 47% of voters are Malay, 38% are Chinese, and 11% are Indian. I get uh, this state, this uh, what we call uh, parliament. Maybe uh, the chances is there, lah. Uh, chances is there. Uh, 
even for the Malays as well. Chinese 80%, uh, Indian community uh, 70%, the rest from the uh, Sarokian and also from the Sabahan, uh, maybe 50% percent from the Malay, not a bit less, maybe 40% or 35%. Uh, but uh, I don't think it's not a problem. The chance is also there uh, because the swings now from the Chinese and the, from the Indian. And with polling day not far off, the merit of both their assessments will soon be tested. Simisha Naidu, Kini TV.